G'day YouTube, welcome to another random clock bench video. Today I've got my old mate with me, the E8600 Core 2 Duo. Two cores, zero threads for a total of two cores. Now I haven't used this particular processor. I think it's been about six years since I made my last overclocking video on YouTube. It's in one of my videos on my channel. I haven't had this installed for at least six years. So I decided I'd give it a good lap, as you'll see here. Now to lap this, I just used some 1200 grit sandpaper on a piece of glass for best results. To get the best temperatures possible, and I thought I'd give it a good overclock. So we got this running at 4.6 gigahertz now we got to give this CPU the best chance possible. So main board today is the EP45T UDR3, the F8 BIOS installed, and we've got 12 gig of DDR3 in dual channel. Now the graphics card I chose for this little experiment is the GTX 980 Ti 6 gig. I think these two should make a, a pretty good pair. I don't. I don't think this will will bottleneck the E8400 or E8600 at all. But we'll see how we go. Got a little bit of an overclock happening. Plus 150 on the core. Takes it up to 1302 megahertz. Now I want to run this in 4K. Now I don't like my chances, but we'll see how we go. If I have to drop it down to not to 19 uh, 1080p. We'll drop it down. But yeah, we're going to start with World of Warcraft Classic. Wow Classic. And uh, why not just go straight into some hardcore? Righto, I think the best way to benchmark this moving forward is to create a Tauren Druid. A horde, obviously, you know, for obvious reasons it's going to be a horde. You know, yeah. I'm not even going to go there. So it's going to be a Tauren Druid. We'll start at Mulgore. We'll have a bit of a play with the settings. And then we'll go for a run to Thunder Bluff. And just have a quick look in Thunder Bluff. I think we'll end it at the, the Flight Path Tower in Thunder Bluff. And we'll do that for all versions. We'll do it for Classic. We'll do it for Wrath. And I don't even know if we can, I haven't done it in retails for a very long time. But we'll try and we'll see how we'll go. We'll start with Classic and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, let's go ahead and click the play button, shall we? And create a Tauren Druid. Alright, uh, let's go on to Hardcore. Full. Skyrock. Rock. Alright, let's go on there anyway. Of course! Clock, bench, druid, druid, torrent, druid, horde, clock, bench. Let's go. I agree. Once a nomadic people, the torrent roamed the endless plains of the barrens hunting the mighty Kodo. Scattered across the land, the wandering tribes were united only by their common hatred for their sworn enemy. The Let's get rid of that. Alright, we are on. Hardcore Classic. On a Core 2 Duo E8600. 
currently getting 60 frames per second. Let's just go and have a look at the graphics options. Render scale set to 100%, so we're currently at 4K. Uh, what are we looking for here? Let's do an overall quality to ultra. Turn off VSync. Wow, look at those frames. Let's reset our counter. 1% lows and our frame rate averages. Everything on Ultra, 4K. Graphics quality set to the maximum. Oh wow, look at those frames guys. On a Core 2 Duo. Dual cores. Both cores sitting on 100%. Temperatures looking fantastic as usual. Because I lapped the crap out of that processor. And it's sitting underneath a D15. Alright, we're going to go for a run to Thunder Bluff. And we'll end this at the Flight Master. Up in his tower. Mike switched off until then and we'll do fast forward. On the Core 2 Duo E8600, both cores sitting at a nice 100%. Average frame rate was 106, 1% 1 low 66, frame time is looking awesome. This game, well the original is, is extremely well optimized and that's with everything well, at the maximum preset. As high, high as it can go. Look at that. Alright, so that's the original classic hardcore. On the Core 2 Duo 8600. It's playable well, up into Th Thunder Bluff anyway. I'm sure that would change in a raid or a, a dungeon. But so far, so good. Now let's go ahead and have a look at Wrath of the Lich King. Alright, it's time to have a look at Wrath. Play. Will it launch? Are there different requirements for all of these different versions? No, we launched Create a new character, Tor and Horde, Druid of course. Clock Bench. Enter. Once a nomad. Skip that. Alright, let's have a look at the graphics options. Are they the same as Classic? Looks the same. Let's reset our 
preset so let's go ahead and chuck that onto the maximum we can do render scale at 100% vsync off frames looking very similar to classic whatever that means I don't know All right, here we are in Wrath of the Lich King on a Core 2 Duo. Both cores mid-90s to 100% usage. Love to see that. Good usage. CPU only sitting on around 55 degrees. GPU is nearly maxing out. Look at that. 280 watts coming from a GDX 980 Ti in our frames sitting around about 100 all right, we're going to go for a run to Thunder Bluff again, and we will end it at the Flight Master in his tower up the top. So we'll kill the mic until then, and we'll have a look at the frames. But we're at Thunder Bluff and it ran quite, it actually ran very smoothly. Average frame rates were around about 100, 1% low at around 60. Still getting good frames in Thunder Bluff. Alright, next one's going to be Retail. Can the Core 2 Duo run Retail? Let's have a look. Time to have a look at retail. World of Warcraft. Upgrade available. No, Dragonfly, no. Maybe if you hit the like and subscribe, I'll I'll do the upgrade and we can head, head across to Dragonflight with the Core 2 Duo 8600. But for now, we'll just have a look at what we got. Play. On retail is it gonna launch it's having to think about it there you go core 2 duo running WoW in 2023 15 year old processor all right new character let's just turn that down a little bit forward druid of course couldn't really be anything else could it I mean, I'd neck myself before creating an alliance. Clock bench. Let's go. Red Cloud Mesa. Enter. What the hell? 
how did I become a shaman? Oh, a shaman it is. Great tragedy has rocked the Tauran tribes. I don't need to listen to that. All right, retail. Wow. On a core two, you are a fifteen-year-old processor. Let's have a look at the graphics options. Vertical sync disabled. Set that to the maximum it can be set at. How's their frames looking? Oh, they're down a bit. Definitely down. Compared to Wrath and uh, Classic, the frames are definitely down, sitting on 100% resolution scale. Alright, let's go for a run to Thunder Bluff and end it at the Flight Master up there. I can even see it from here. Look at that. Oh, we can even go this way. Look at that. Frames are definitely down. Let's reset our counter here. Did that reset or what? Ah, oh, there we go. Reset our counter. And we'll head for a run to Thunder Bluff. With everything set to the maximum. We'll head down past the camp here like we did in the other two. We'll kill the mic until we get at Thunder Bluff. Well, we made it to Thunder Bluff. Look at that. On a Core 2 Duo. Frame rates were pretty good. Average of 70. 1% low is 34. Graphics. At the highest they could go. And it ran surprisingly well. All three of these versions of WoW ran really good. I've got a high level character in um, Wrath, so I may might just jump on there and have a look at Dell and check our frames with the Core 2 Duo. Alright, here we are in Dell boys on the Core 2 Duo in 2000 in December 2023. What's that? Data loading, okay. Let's go for a run through Dell on a Core 2 Duo. I signed up for a dungeon. That's going to be pretty funny seeing I haven't done a dungeon. Oh, I can't even remember. It's, there was no dungeon finder when I left. But we'll go and do a heroic dungeon anyway on this Core 2. And see if we make it through alive. Frames in Dell look pretty good so far. Graphics still on the maximum. Looking good. Alright, we'll come back when we find ourselves a group for a dungeon.
All right. Group found for a dungeon on the core two. Let's go. Are we going to make it? What dungeon? I don't even think I've done this dungeon before. Oh, this is going to be fun. What joy is there in this curse? Let's do a quest. Accept that. Boom. The Argent Crusade and the Knights of the Ebon Blade have Get my disgusting oozling out. Citadel and are preparing for a massive attack upon the Scourge. In the Our mission What's is that? a bit more subtle, but equally as important. With the attention of the Lich King turned towards the front gate, We'll be working our way through the side in search of information that will enable us to defeat him once and for all. Our scouts have reported that the Lich King has a private chamber outside of the frozen throne, deep within a place called the Halls of Pally Reflection. Block. That is our target Pally 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 champions. The Druid. We will cut a swath of destruction from right, this guy. place and find a way to enter Boom. the Halls of Reflection. Straight in there. If there is anything of value to be found here, can't go wrong with swipe. Taunt. Holding good aggro. Don't even know if I, I probably got my healing gear on. Don't know. We're doing alright so far. Taunt again. Stun. Look at that. Still got it, boys. Disgusting oozling out. No. Uh, don't recall even seeing this dungeon before. Let's go. Boom. Taunt. Stun. Get off my lock. Terrible move. Wrong button. Oh well. Core 2 duo still holding up. Frames looking good. Look at those frames. Wow. Going in straight away. Come here. Whoops. Shit. Stun that guy. Oh, this is a bit of a mess. Got no mods happening. It's been that long. Let's focus.
Alright, this could end badly. First boss. Run away for soul drop. Let's do it. Boom. What's the soul drop he's talking about? Come here. I guess that's the soul drop. Oh, where's my balance? I totally forgot. Looking good so far, boys. Come here. What's happening? What's the G here going in close? Okay. Oh, feared. Shit. Feared. We made it. First boss dead. Boys, look at that. Alright, we'll come back at that. Alright, second boss coming up, boys. This is, this could end badly. Devera. Stop DPS on mine. Okay. Stop DPS on mirror and avoid giant beam of death. Alright, let's go. Stop DPS on mirror and avoid the giant beam of death. Okay, I can do that. Mirror, okay. Looking good so far. Is that the giant beam of death? Where's it? Mirror. Mirror saw. Stop DPS. Okay, stopping. Survival instincts on. Yeah, look at that. Quest completed. Yeah, I've got to say, um, reinstalling WoW, which took about 20 hours, and running through this, a couple of the starting zones and, and doing some dungeons really brought back some, some good memories for me. Um, especially on the Core 2 Duo. I mean, I used to used to play this game back in the day on a Core 2 Duo. Not not this Core 2 Duo, but yeah, on a Core 2 Duo, and it brought back a lot of good memories for me. Um, if you want to see this little Core 2 Duo go on a Dragonflight, hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Clock bench out.